up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 Jaguar XF sedan, 5.0 liter V8, 32 valve, dual overhead cam with only 46,000 miles, loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory power moonroof, front and rear parking sensors, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Right, we're going to finish going around the vehicle, then we're going to go ahead and get inside get the vehicle started for you, show you all the interior options. All right, it has one of those intelligent type keys. I'm going to lock the vehicle now, put the key in my pocket, and you never really have to take the key out of your pocket. When the vehicle is locked and you approach the vehicle, it's going to sense the proximity of the key, and when you pull up on the handle, it releases. To lock the vehicle, all you got to do is press the little square on the door handle when you exit. The door panel is a two-tone, black and gray, with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tail wheel, power mirrors, memory seats for up to two drivers, driver's side power seat, power recliner with lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an non-smoker. Power tilt wheel. There it goes, kind of slow. And it's also telescopic. Meaning you can make it come out to you or push it in away from you. You also have these tabs here on the side of the steering wheel. One of them says negative or minus. The other one has a positive. That means that one's for upshifting. This one's for downshifting if you should choose to go into a manual mode. Let me go ahead and get inside the vehicle, show you all the interior options. All right, when you get inside, all you've got to do is step on the brake and push the button here. All right, and the car starts right up. Let's start off by opening the moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has a hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. And it's a one touch, you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. We'll leave it open for the duration of the video for better lighting. And we're gonna put them all the windows at one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. And uh, it also has, the, um, it's a little hard to see now, but uh, you see that yellow dot there? There's two squares next to it, rectangles. That's gonna light up in yellow when somebody is in your blind spot. So it's got blind zone spot alert. 46,723 miles. Okay, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. Let me put on the lights so you can see better. All right, I'm gonna rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The little green light is the, the daytime driving lights, which are on right now. And the little red light that was under, that was the seatbelt light, because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. All right, um, let's turn on the air conditioning. I, I, I don't know if you notice how the, how the AC vents are all closed. Well, when you turn on the AC, they open up. It's kind of cool. I'll show you how it goes. Let's go to climate. It is a touch screen, as you can see. All right, right now it's off, so we're going to open it. Let me pull the camera back so you can see how they open up. Can't show you all four at the same time, but I can show you once they're open. Show you those three, and this ones are also open here. All right, and um, you do have also dual climate control. I got them both down at 59, but if I wanted to make the passenger side warmer, let's say, uh, I don't know. Um, how do you make it go up here? There we go, down here. So I want to pick the passenger side 70 degrees. All that's going to do is going to make this vent here and this one over here blow at 70 degrees while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicle will blow at 59 or whatever it is you set it to. It's going to go ahead and put it back down here because it's nice and warm outside. 
All right, uh, let's go to the navigation screen. We're gonna press back here. And we're gonna go to navigation here. Agree to the disclaimer. And there's your navigation. If you put the vehicle in reverse, now to put the vehicle out of gear, you're gonna move this little wheel around. So I'm gonna put it in reverse. And now you get your color backup camera with parking guidelines. All right, so neutral, drive, and this is where I'm going to show you the uh, manual shifting option here. But you push the button down and put down on the S, and now you're in manual shifting mode, which is going to allow you to shift the transmission by tapping here or here. Okay, if that doesn't interest you, you push the knob down a little bit. Actually, you don't have to push it down. Uh, right now, I'm going to twist it to the right, it won't go. To make it go to uh, manual mode, you got to push it down and then twist it to go back into drive you just simply twist it okay all right uh, let's go ahead and put it in park no we don't need to be in gear right now all right um <clears throat> here's your parking brake uh, to engage you pull toward you to disengage you step on the brake and push away from you uh, this here got cup holders here here and here all right um let's see here what else I can show you Got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts your high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the mirror, you got your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Let's go ahead and let's click press home here. To go back to this and let's go ahead to audio. Let's put in some music here. <laughs> You can lower the volume or raise the volume right on this knob over here. Alright, this one here is to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones you set on your main screen over here, which of course can be changed. Um, this one's to change the source. Right now, I believe we're on FM1. Yes, so let's press, let's press the source button. Let me rest my elbow here. FM1. Now we went to FM2. AM. Sirius Satellite which of course you have to get a subscription for okay you got also your CD mode here and back to AM FM okay oops uh, let's change it to uh, FM I got a minute here now let's put uh... there we go we're back to FM there and if we want to go back to navigation we can press uh, home here home takes you to this uh, screen here okay all right uh, let's see what else here all right you got storage here in the center console let me reach around here and show you you got uh, on the right hand side of your screen there you got your cigarette lighter adapter then uh, going moving left you got auxiliary input then your iPod interface and let me see if I can reach here and show you this is the one that goes into the back of your, either your iPod or your iPhone. And um, you got a USB port. That's the last one there. All right. Your main glove box, it's over here. And to open up, you tab here. And then there is your owner's manual with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. To close, you simply push up. Uh, up in the top here, you got a set of map lights. All right. And of course, your power sunroof switch that I just showed you. Um, cruise control is on the right hand side of your screen here. Leather wrap steering wheel, and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Alright. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and move on to the back. You do have courtesy lighting here. I don't know if you can see that blue light coming off of there. So at night you can see your buttons pretty good. Down there you got your power trunk release and your fog lights. Um, let's see, uh, you got your wipers, con wiper control over there and your headlight control over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so you want to turn off the car now. You simply just hit the button and uh, you don't have to step on the brake for that. You see all your vents close. Pretty cool. And they're all working as you can see. All right, so now um, I left the sunroof open and the power and the windows down. That has really no bearing on the demonstration of the vehicle. By the way, you have also a, a curtain side airbags in the front, middle post, and also on the rear post back there. I'll show you when I get there. 
And you also have seat side airbags. I was looking for the tab, and the tab is back here. Okay. Uh, left rear door panel, same way, two tone gray and black with a wood trimming. This vehicle does have the child lock protection. What you do is you stick your key blade or a screwdriver in there and give it a half a twist. And what that will do is uh, disable the inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. Put your key blade into a screwdriver, twist it halfway again, and this handle will start working again. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back, and they all have over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which is just that belt right there. In the back of the center console, you get AC vents for the rear row passenger, a set of map lights back there, and curtain side airbags, like I said before, back here as well. These little tabs here to indicate to you that you have anchors back here wedged in there for your baby car seat. So you can put your baby car seat on either one of the two outer positions. Um, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as an armrest and or cup holder. All right, let's go into the trunk. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. It's not cracked, pitted, or peeling. Right rear tail light. These are the parking sensors I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you're approaching another vehicle or object. Let's go ahead and open up back here. You can open also release the trunk with your remote control or the switch I showed you earlier on the left hand side of the dashboard. Uh, this is your cargo area back here or storage, whatever you want to call it. Get your spare and all your tools that you need there. Batteries located in the back for easy access. Okay. Close this up. Close back here. You got your little orange lines on the rear glass that is your rear window defogger. Come around to the passenger side. Aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brakes. Tire pressure monitoring sensors. Right rear door panel. I'm sure by now you notice that the panels have no cuts, stairs, burn holes, no cracks in the wood trimming, no cracks on the speaker covers. Just in really nice condition. All around, inside and out. Give you another look at the headliner here from a different angle so you can see it's not sagging or stained or has any burn holes or anything like that. Let's come around to the passenger front. By the way, I forgot to tell you earlier, but I'll do that now. Um, right front door panel. You got also, as you can see, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on the passenger side, and not just the drivers. And uh, what I forgot to tell you earlier was simply that um, when you exit the vehicle and you want to lock the vehicle, you don't really have to reach inside your pocket. All you got to do is on any door, press that button, and that's going to lock all four doors, okay? Now, before we uh, end the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit if you're concerned about the financing. You live a long distance away. Or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.